Our favorite flame-haired hero is getting one last patch before the devs hang up their pixel paintbrushes. Dead Cells has always had this little thing called Curse. You know, that delightful status effect where if you so much as stub your toe, you're deader than disco. Well, the mad lads at Evil Empire decided, hey, you know what the game needs? More curse! And boy, did they deliver. First up, we've got three new mobs that'll make you question your life choices. The Sore Loser. Imagine that clingy friend who just won't take a hint. Now give them the power to curse you. That's the sore loser in a nutshell. It can't hurt you directly, but kill it and you're cursed. Talk about a participation trophy gone wrong. The Doombringer. This charming fellow doesn't believe in physical damage. No, no, that's too mainstream. Instead, it'll stack curse on you faster than you can believe. Get 50 stacks and it's game over, buddy. Just like playing hot potato, except the potato is your life. The Cursor. Last but not least, we have this magical wonder. It shoots slow, homing projectiles that can phase through walls. Because who doesn't love a good game of Dodge the Undodgeable? Oh, and if you get too close, it'll bonk you with its stuff. You know, the variety. But wait, there's more. These cursed mobs won't just show up anywhere. Oh no, that would be too merciful. Instead, we've got cursed biomes, where dreams go to die. Picture this, you're cruising through dead cells, feeling pretty good about yourself. Then you see it, a biome marked with a special skull. That, my friends, is a cursed biome. It's like a haunted house, except instead of cheap scares, you get actual death. These biomes are where our new cursed friends hang out. But here's the kicker. You get to choose whether to enter or not. It's like Evil Empire saying, hey, we know you're a glutton for punishment, but even we have limits. The upside of this, all gear dropped in these biomes will be of a higher level. So, you know, risk reward and all that jazz. So it's just like playing the lottery, except instead of losing money, you lose your will to live. And there's even more, because apparently the devs thought, you know what would be fun? Giving players ways to curse themselves. So now we have the Cursed Flask. Infinite healing sounds great, right? Well, not when each sip comes with a side of curse. It's like making a deal with the devil, except the devil is your own desperate need for health. New mutations. There's one that increases your damage by 30% when you're cursed. Nothing says good idea like incentivizing players to walk the razor's edge between godlike power and instant death. Now it's not all doom and gloom. The update also brings some less lethal additions. Over 40 new head skins because if you're gonna die repeatedly you might as well look fabulous doing it. New legendary affixes for those moments when you want your weapons to be even more ridiculously overpowered. New routing options. Now you can visit both Return to Castlevania biomes in one run for the vampire enthusiasts out there. This update, fittingly titled The End Is Near, marks the end of major content updates for Dead Cells. Evil Empire, the development team, is moving on to new projects, but fear not, they've promised to continue with minor bug fixing patches. It's been a wild ride. Eight years, 35 updates, and more player deaths than there are stars in the sky. Dead Cells has evolved from a solid roguelike into a genre-defining masterpiece. And even though this is the final update, let's be real, the game is far from dead. Dead Cells remains blisteringly fast when it needs to be, challenging without being frustrating and packed with sharp, fatal toys. This final update just cranks all of that up to 11. So here's to Dead Cells, a game that, like its protagonist, refuses to stay dead. Whether you're a veteran who's seen it all or a newcomer just discovering its charms, there's never been a better time to dive into this pixelated pool of pain and pleasure.